Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And so this seems like as good a spot to start the video as any other because Alan Shearer just sold. Now, if you guys have checked out my Instagram and my Twitter, you've seen today um, a couple of uh, links are in the description if you haven't seen them yet. Um, but I have been trading with a couple of different icons. Uh, I sold Nakata at a profit. I've been trading with a little bit of Shearer. Uh, Maldini, we made a ton of profit on, over 20k profit on a Maldini flip. Um, pretty cool. So we are looking at this Shearer right here. Again, doesn't say what I bought it for, but I did buy him for 191. And this was a little bit of a, just a small flip. I just wanted to get him out of here. Um, I actually bought three Shearers at the same time for 191. Sold this one for 204. And I sold two others who had better chem styles on them for uh, 207 and 209. Uh, I sold them earlier. So making... Uh, over 10k on the uh, most expensive or over 7k on the most expensive one there after tax um so we are just going to take a look at the market and i'm going to try and talk you guys through uh icon trading and kind of how i do it so i just have a list of guys that i go through like i know a lot of people are like oh let's look at the 59th minute whatever this might not be the most efficient way but like for example let's look at sheer and you should really be looking at footpin so I know on Footbin, based on his graphs, Shearer, I can sell all day long at a little above 200K. Right now, there's nothing on the market for 204. Sometimes he'll get as cheap. Okay, so the cheapest one on the market right now is 205. Now, if you see an Alan Shearer at any point over the next few days, um, things are going to get weird around Black Friday. But over the next day or two after you see this video, just take a look at Shearer. Just check his price every so often uh, throughout the day. There will be times, uh, excuse me, where he goes down under 190 or 191, 192. And then you can sell him at 205. If you buy him at 190 and sell him at 205, you've made about 10, uh, sorry, about 5K profit on one card, which is super cool. So I just wanna check. And then what you can also do is really quickly, just check, is there anybody above 191 bid or under 191 bid? These two guys are late, so I'm just going to throw cheap bids on them so they go into my watch list. And that one's actually a little bit more expensive than I thought, but if I win him for 186, that would be absolutely fine. Also, he's 15 hours. I probably shouldn't have thrown that bid on. Um, so another guy, I like trading with these low-budget ones. Uh, I tweeted about a layman earlier, an 88 layman. Um... I bought one yesterday for 178 and sold him for like 195. Uh, let's see what he's going for right now. Let's see, 197. Okay, so there is one for 197. Let's see, is he over 200? The rest of them. Let's see. So it's one for 197 and one for 198. Now I wouldn't buy it if it's 3k cheaper. Remember, on a 200 thousand coin sale you're gonna have at least 10k in profit although these look like decent um prices let's see how high he actually goes 207 so there's a couple at 207 the one at 197 is not actually a bad deal but and so you guys can't see this because i can't show multiple screens i'm not that sophisticated yet but we will get there don't worry um i've clicked over to footbin and i am looking at uh layman and i want to see his graph so I'm pretty familiar with his price because I've been looking at him for the past few days, but I do want to look at his graph quickly. Now he's, uh, we said 197 is the cheapest right now. Yesterday, for example, he went for 199. Yes, the day before that he went for 193. So I'm a little bit wary of buying one for 197 in hopes for selling it for 200 and whatever K. He's actually on one of his upswings right now. I want to get Layman at his downswing of like 190. I'm looking at his hourly graph on Footman. I really wish I could show this to you guys, but unfortunately I don't have that capability. Um, we'll work on it for videos like this though. The lowest Layman's been today is 190. The highest he's been is 210. If you buy Layman at 190 and you sell Layman a few hours later at 210, you make 10,000 coins because you take off tax. That's a great deal. Um, you really just have to buy at the bottom. If you buy at the bottom and sell at the top, you're going to make, um, you're going to make money here. Now let's just take a quick look. If any of those layman's are like 190, not there. 190. Let's see if anybody's under 190. It's just that one. That's probably going to get bought anyway. 
Um, let's take a look at somebody else I trade a lot with. Nakata. The base Nakata. Uh, usually goes around 215 to 20. So we'll check his price there. I should have just done the manual adjustment, but we will get there eventually. So nothing at 214. I bought one earlier for 210, sold him at 222. Uh, and he's cheapest right now is there's a bunch for 225. So that's interesting. There's a bunch for 225 there. So we can be pretty confident if we could snag an Akata on a snipe or on a bid, we can sell him, you know, over the course of the next hour for like 223, no problem. So at 223, we need to be getting him under 210. Anything over 210, we're not making enough coins. Um, even 210 is going to be like, like a thousand coins profit. So let's look. Now there's one for 157. I'm just going to throw a bid on him. It's 45 minutes. Um, who else can we look for? I like looking at, if you want to get a little bit more expensive, Gary Lineker has been somebody I've looked at. Now he's more along the lines of 300k ish. Let's see. Yeah. 300, 301. Now this one has a bit of 277 on it. Um, if you can get Lineker at 277, because now at 300k you have 15,000 coins tax. Remember that. Um, yeah, and that is the cheapest bid. So we're not going to bid on this one. We're just going to add it to the watch list just to keep an eye on him. He is a center midfielder with a hunter on him, so it makes it interesting. Um, obviously, fresh icons you can always sell for more. And let me let me see if I can find a fresh icon for you guys just so I can uh, just explain that a little bit. There we go. So if we just take a look, actually best way to find fresh is to go on to the basic chemistry style, which I went obviously the entire wrong direction. That was crazy. Basic chemistry style. This Littman, and I've trade, I trade with Littman and sometimes too. Now he's not sold. He's got 17 seconds because 188 is too high, but he is fresh. So see what I mean by fresh? He has, oh, he's gone. So he's not fresh. He has games on him. Let me get back to another fresh one. So this Mateus is fresh. See how he has no games played? Uh, no games played for anybody. That's what they call fresh. So that means somebody who buys him and plays with him, they're the only ones that have that have games on him. This basic filter is good for that, that Trez guy. Actually, Lippmanen reminded me. Let's take a look at Lippmanen. We don't need him to be fresh. We'll just take a look at Yari Lippmanen. Base icon version. Again, this is for somebody who has a budget of like four to five K. You could buy, you know, two to three icons for four to five K and have a look. Um, and maybe just make 10K, 10K a flip. That would be pretty good. Actually, that 184 was not that expensive. So, yeah, 175 is cheapest right now. That just went up eight minutes ago. Um, there's only one listed at 178 for more than an hour, which is interesting. So, if we get up to like 181, what's his cost? Yeah, so this I'm surprised that 184 fresh didn't sell, actually. Unless this is a fresh card. Is this a fresh card? It is. So that's interesting that the cheapest one on the market is a fresh card. Obviously, Lippmanen is not somebody that you're necessarily like, oh, I need to go get Yari Lippmanen. Like, his card's not that good, but he still will sell. Um, down this lower end of the price range, not a lot of people are what you'd call... Um, didn't mean to click that deco. Whoops are what you'd call like meta. Um, a lot of these players are not necessarily players that uh, everybody's going out to get and put in their weekend league teams. Um, but sometimes you can just get lucky. Like I'm really hoping we get lucky at some point during this video and we can just get somebody for like way cheap. Um, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to at this point, but you know, we'll go for another few minutes, try and find something. As long as I can think of something else to talk about. So. Uh, this Deco here, he's selling for like 180. So I'm just gonna quickly check if there's any bids of like 172 or less. Let's see. So that one's 173. I don't really want him at 173 because we can only sell him for like 183, and that's like literally no profit there. Uh, let's just take a quick look at our shearers here. So we were outbid on this shear. I'm just gonna throw another one on. Um. Again, a lot of it's just about timing and getting a little bit lucky. Like if you can just find an eye, that's why you want to know the prices of like eight to 10 icons, like be familiar with their prices. Like, do you need to memorize it? Oh, at 5 PM on Thursday, the 29th, um, Rui Costa costs, uh, 116,000 coins. No, of course you don't need to know that. But if you're familiar, like see how I'm getting it. 
like pretty much on the first or second search. Was that 201? Oh, it was 221. I thought it was 201 and we would have snapped that up. Now, all day long, you can sell Costa for 220, okay? So, I mean, look, and these were even recent. Uh, these ones here, 220, 221s were within the last 10 minutes or so, which is uh, an anchor on him. What a weird chemistry style. Um, so again, so you check the buys, you check the prices. So I know if I get one at like 205 or so, that's not right. I didn't actually set this in. 205, there we go, 206, whatever. So there's one, it's just this one here for the 201. So again, um, it can be a little frustrating trying to find, uh, you know, a card. But at some point, I promise you, if you familiarize yourself with these prices and you stay on it and you check the market and whatever, like I'm going to go back to Shearer now and we're going to take another look at, uh, at Alan Shearer. I don't want that filter on him though. So he's still 20, 209, whatever. Let's see. 210. Like, see how there's actually like a lot of shears listed? As it gets later and later, it's um, there's going to be less and less shears listed up because less people are going to be up. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, sh there's no shears there. Let's take another look at Nakata. Uh, what was he? What is he? He's like 220, right? Yep, so this one just got listed a few minutes ago at 220. Now, let's say this guy just really wanted to sell and he listed them up at 210 four minutes ago. You know, it might still be sitting there because there aren't a ton of people looking on the market for icons, right? So when a deal gets listed, you usually have a couple of minutes to be able to get it. Actually, even that 220 is not a horrible um, buy, um, although Nakata doesn't get generally higher than like 232, so uh, it's actually not that good a buy. Um, let's see who else is on my list. I'm kind of blanking. I've been looking at Loudrup a little bit, Michael Loudrup, um, his baby version. If we can find him, there he is 85 Loudrup. He's cheaper. There we go. Oh, he got more expensive. If I bought one, er I swear he was like 180 earlier today. I might just be thinking of something else. So even if you you know, you kind of know the price. You may not actually know where the price is. So Loudrop, um, I haven't been trading enough with, so I didn't know his price. But now I know he can kind of go in that 230 area. I am going to look at his graph on Footbin as well. I'll talk you guys through it, even though you can't see. Um, let's have a look. Loudrop. So Footbin says he's 220. Now, if I'm a guy who has a Loudrop and I go and list mine, and say, oh, flipping, what is this going to cost? And I go and list mine for 220. Loudrop is an absolute buy at 220, like a huge buy at 220. Because I'm looking at his graph right now, his hourly graph. His highest price today was uh, 231. Okay, actually, I might take that back on 220. 220 might not be a great buy. Well, he was 239 yesterday. So you buy them at 220, you sell them at 239, you're making 9K profit, and that's more than acceptable, right? That's what you're looking for. Um, so I guess I'll just call this video here, guys. I got outbid on that shearer again. Um, I'll try and pick them up for less than, I don't know, 180 coins or whatever, 100, 190 coins, um, and uh, enlist him up. But yeah, so that's kind of uh, that's kind of what we're looking at when we're trading icons. Unfortunately, I couldn't snag one in the video for you guys. Um, we'll just take one more look at Layman. I had a good flip on him. Let's take one more look at Layman before we go. 88 Layman. Uh, it goes for about 180. Sorry, 190. Oh yeah, he's 197 now. Yeah, which just goes to show how good a deal I got on that one um, I got last night for 178. It's like a solid like 12, like 11k profit there, which is kind of cool. Um, that should really be your goal with these, I guess. Like you know, the closer you are to like 10k profit, like that's kind of the sweet spot when you're trading with icons. Otherwise, you can kind of do it with volume with other players. So hopefully, this guy, uh, this video helped you guys out. Unfortunately, no super huge icon flips here. Uh, Would have been great if I can get like a snipe or something, but wasn't to be. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or any other icons you might want to try to see me trade with. I will try to be recording when I catch an icon. Um, 
but no promises on that. If I can, I will include it in another video. Um, but that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Again, any questions down in the comment, please like, subscribe. Let me know uh, anything I can do to start improving the videos. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.